today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa and I am a cruelty-free YouTuber that talks a lot about makeup. And today I am doing a get ready with me. I am going to test out some new products. Um, I decided what I have tried. I did an order on Beauty Bay and I bought three things. One of the things I've already used Two weeks now maybe i bought a brow duo do have from beach cosmetics in light blonde it looks like this i actually do like it so i'm going to use that today and then i bought a blush duo digital dust duo blush from melt in buskill and I don't know what got into me, but I really wanted this. It's pretty light. <laughs> I think it looks a little bit darker in the camera, but that I bought. And then I also bought a new eyeshadow palette. I bought the Nikki Tutorials and Beauty Bay eyeshadow palette. And I bought this when it was on sale. I think it was 40% off or 50% off. I w we get more into this when I start to do my makeup. But yeah, I have this and I'm going to use it today. It's one thing though that bothers me with it. I don't know if you can see, like... It's like open there. You can see the shadows through it. I think it's supposed to be like this tight, but mine is not. And yeah, this is so... I, I am so, so good at this. The palette looks like this, if you didn't know. So yeah, I'm just going to share about things. I never know how, to, how my get ready with me will end up. But we will just have to wait and see. So I'm going to prime my eyes and see what we will talk about. And this is actually the first thing I tried from Beauty Bay's own brand. And I have heard so many mix, mixed reviews about this one. And like every time Paulina, <laughs> Paulina's Beauty, doing a video with this one, I am like, I want that. And then it was on sale and I was like, okay, I just buy it. So I have no idea what I want to do. No idea. I think I at least want to use one shimmer. Maybe uh, this one all in. Maybe I can swatch it and see how it looks like a duochrome that looks really good so i think i will use that at least no i'm going to have shadow everywhere i don't know if i'm going to tell you which colors i'm using i'm just going to dig into this palette and just just do a makeup okay so is there anything special i want to talk about i i don't know sometimes i just feel like doing it red with me but like I have no idea what I want to talk about. And sometimes I like have like a plan to get ready with me. I know exactly what I want to talk about. Even though it usually don't end up like that. Okay, this one. I took the I took the, I took this basic truth. It didn't do a shit. I thought like I could talk a little bit about um, if you didn't know, I had a no buy in um, the first three months of this year, and I did really good. I only bought like hair care and some skin care that, uh, yeah, like my shampoo, no, my conditioner and shampoo. My conditioner <laughs> was out, so I bought a new conditioner and a new hair mask because I used up my old one. And I did actually succeed, and that felt really, really good. And today I started to like thinking about has my low buy changed me in any way with my shopping habits? If we go way back, it was 2019, it must have been. I did a year long low buy. And I did, uh, I, I did it, and then 
2020 I did start it out I kind of normal I can remember and then I started to shop a lot again and uh, now 2021 do you hear my neighbors or I don't even think it's my neighbors screaming outside I did decide to do a no buy and then I was like I don't know the plans for the rest of the year and I haven't actually shopped that much it's like I have saved saved but like more for special things I have bought some makeup I have like this one and the blush and uh, I have bought what else have I bought? From Kaleidos and uh, I bought um, a palette that you haven't seen yet, the uh, Lewis Cosmetics Meet Me in the Underground. I can never remember the name that I have bought but like other than that I haven't bought that much makeup and I have sometimes been really really dying to buy some things is this two different mirrors in this one? yeah it is it's one like normal mirror and one that is zoomed in Crazy. and I also tried to buy the Menardi and uh, a knit palette I did get it, but they cancelled my order and I'm going to get it sometime, but not right now and that bums me out. But other than that, I don't think I bought any makeup. I was like, maybe I should do a whole video and I was like, yeah, okay, maybe not. The only thing like I went crazy with this year is clothes and shoes. And I don't know why, because I don't dress in like so many different things. I usually wear, to work I wear jeans and uh, a work shirt. And when I come home I often like put on my sweatpants. But I'm trying to be a little bit more, even not dressed up at home. But not use the same things over and over again. And today I have like my... I should have looked this up. The... Dangeries? Dangeries? Um... Dangerous? <laughs> I have no idea but uh, and like a normal t-shirt it is not super dressed up but it's like better than sweatpants so I guess that that is good but I'm trying to like be interested in clothes more and I'm trying to find what I like I know what I like but I don't know if I like have the courage to wear what I want to and also I am comfortable but I'm trying to like be dressed the way I want to but I think it's I think it's hard even though I'm, I'm a grown-up I just think it's hard I'm trying to not mind what other people think but you have good days and you have bad days but yeah clothes is something that I've shopped quite a lot of the latest but <laughs> do I still use the same clothes as I always do yes yes I do but I'm trying I'm really trying okay now I'm going in with purple shade and we'll see how this will look so far I have nothing to complain about these shades 
it was really like really pigmented one I have in my crease almost like a little bit too pigmented maybe it's a little bit late to change that now no I don't know what I think about this look what have I done what have I done nobody knows this doesn't look good <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing wrong with the colors, it's just me that are doing some shit to it. Not quite sure what I'm doing. And was I really in the mood for doing it red with me or did I just want to do my makeup? Sometimes it feels like I'm obligated to film a video every time I put on my makeup. And I don't know why I feel like that. Or, okay, maybe I know because i having a YouTube channel. But I maybe shouldn't feel that way. Like, if I don't want to film, I shouldn't. But, like, am I going to waste makeup and not film it? If you're having a YouTube channel, please tell me if you feel the same way. That you can't, like waste the makeup on sitting by yourself I guess it's different for people like who do I do not wear makeup every day because eh, no. I don't want to have it at work so and I also don't want to go up earlier to just do my makeup but you that have a YouTube channel, do you ever feel like you're wasting a makeup look if you're not filmed? This year I really wanted to be like me. Having a better relationship with my YouTube channel. But sometimes it feels like it's just getting worse. And I don't know what I want to do or what I not want to do. I haven't decided that yet and sometimes I feel like maybe I should take a break but at the same time I don't want to take a break so I think it's so hard but also I don't think I need to be that hard to myself because things has happened this year in my personal life that I can't do anything about and that I just I can't control it And maybe that puts me off, like, my energy. Okay, I, I like the shades. So far I have nothing to complain at. So far I like this, I'm going to take away the fallouts. And now I'm just questioning, maybe not my... <laughs> the blush duo will go super good with this. Okay, it just feels like I have the shimmer shade all over my face. So for foundation today I'm going to use Bear With Me from NYX. I have in Pale Light. I really do like this one. I think it is good. It's a really like light coverage but I feel like when I'm using a powder it gets a little bit more coverage and yeah I, re I really like it. But I like hate to put on. <laughs> my foundation on camera because the settings like on the camera is going nuts and I look pale as a ghost but it's going to look better I promise and like I'm going crazy with this cat hair we have like cat hair everywhere like everywhere I don't know how they can have any fur left because they are putting it everywhere. <laughs> okay, I put on my powder. I'm using... Where the hell? Did I put it back? No. Hold on. I'm using the Nabla close-up powder. I love this pressed powder. My, the pan is getting bigger and bigger. I don't use this every time now because I don't like to use it together with my 
skin release from Nabla, but I maybe should try it. And uh, now I'm just going over with some things to not have a flat face. So I'm taking the Nabla Ambra. It's a skin bronzing. And I go in with a kind of a fluffy brush. Because I don't want it like to be too intense and just a little bit of something to look a little bit more neutral neutral but have like a little bit of dimension in my face and this is actually a bronzer but I'm using it as a contour and I think it works good so then we are going in to test the melt Bus kill. So, bus is the blush. This one and kill is the highlighter. And I think the blush is going to suit me, but I don't know with the highlighter. But this was the lightest shade. So, I really hope. The only thing is, like, it's a bee here. I don't want to destroy it. Okay, who am I kidding? I'm not going to use it that much that something is going to be destroyed. Okay, now we'll see. Maybe this is like too shimmery for me to use as a blush. Or maybe not. Maybe this is good. Okay, I'm f I, I, I think I like this one. Can you see it in the camera? I really hope that you can. Here I have nothing, and here it's on. I do like it. It's something like, I usually don't like shimmery blushes. I don't know why. Maybe because in my mind, like, a blush should be matte. But this... This looks really good. I really do like this. <laughs> so I'm going to use the highlighter now and I am afraid that this is going to be too dark because I'm pale. But I'm going to try and see. I, I think it's a close call for me too dark. Maybe not. Maybe it's going really good together with. I think it's so hard to like see if a highlighter is too dark. I know you can see it like if you have... Uh, if it looks like just one streak, but... I don't, if you don't do YouTube or you don't have done your makeup in front of studio lights, Sometimes it's really, really hard to see how it actually looks. I think it's close to being a little bit too dark. Oh my god. I'm pale. That is like it's with the summer, then I realize how pale I am when people get tanned and I'm taking the same. Then I like really realize how pale I am. You can see like my arm. When I am outside and the sun is in, I have my arms in the sun, it looks like I'm transparent. Like you can see through me, but okay. As for right now I really like this, I think this could be like an, maybe an, like an, if I just want something a light makeup. I think it's like enough. If I only should do a base, I think it's enough to take the blush side and just use it as a blush because it's pretty darn shimmer. But I actually think I really like this one. It's going to be fun to use this more. When I bought this, I was like, am I really going to do this? I usually don't buy that expensive face products. Like I have the a Natasha Denona palette, I have an Ofra highlight, but other than that, I love my Nabla so much, I usually don't 
splurge on base products like that and like not with foundations or anything okay, i'm going to do my brows with this little bh cosmetics and this was so cheap i bought this on sale as well it was super cheap on sale but it was cheap like in if it wouldn't be on sale and what i really like about this this is really pigmented I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills, the same like duo eyebrow thing, and I think this is just as good. I think it's really hard though to find like a color that I like for my brows because I don't want that cold brows, but I don't want too warm, and I do not have that many options because I. Um, so pale I want like this is a light blonde and blonde is usually pretty warm but I think this is not that warm I think this is might be one of the better that I've tried but like blonde used to be so or usually is really warm and then the next step is like taupe and that is like too cold I just wish that I haven't had this pale brows. I'm coloring them. Now oh, it was a couple of weeks ago, so I need to do it again. But like, I am so... I also want some colors in my brows. But I don't. Okay, so for my low hair lash, what do I want to do? And we have a brush that I can do something with. And where have I put a ballad? I think I might take the one that I had in my crease first. I think I'll do that. Maybe I'm going to talk a little bit more about if I think my no buy changed me. I think it did a little bit, but I <sighs> I think like I can wait a little bit more with things now. There has been things that I really really wanted. And I know if it was like last year, I know that I would have bought it in a heartbeat. But now I'm like, okay, do I really need that? And then like the FOMO it down and I'm like no I don't need it and I'm not going to buy it because I have so many palettes here at home that I can play with instead and somewhere I am a little bit like I guess in the back of my head I'm a little bit afraid that it's going to affect my channel too much if I don't do first impressions but at the same time, I'm in standing still with subscribers for, I don't know how long. It goes up like with a few and it goes down again. And I really do not try to focus on that one because that is just dragging me down. And I know that I've been talking about like, I, that I don't care about subscribers and usually... I don't but I think that a lot can relate to like when you lose subscribers you always think did I do something bad did I do a boring video wasn't this good why do I do this and stuff like that and I don't want to feel that way and I usually don't but I have days when I do feel that way and I think that a lot of people that do youtube do feel that okay, i want to take something one of the matte colorful shades in my inner corner i don't know if i want to take the yellow or this one i think i actually will take the yellow one maybe that will look like shit but you know what then it might 
then you just have to look like shit. But I'm like not trying to focus on my subscriber number at all. But <laughs> sometimes when I just look at it and it's just like, yeah, nothing happening. But at the same time, I know that I'm not like that engaged to try to change it. But I think that this year is going to be me exploring what I want to do with my channel. You think that maybe I should have already come up with that because I've been on YouTube for quite a long time now. But it's like I don't really know what I want to do. I love to do my theme weeks and they are so fun. It's so fun to use older palettes. But it takes so much time to do them. I just like need to be ahead of filming and editing but that is really hard it's really hard <laughs> it's super hard okay I'm going to take something in my wash line I think I will take this one from LA girl this is screaming okay so I need a lipstick to this and what should I pick Maybe I should take one of the Kaleidol ones in the Sandcastle kit. Now I just need to <laughs> try to remember which one I really liked. I think it was Sienna. It was a little bit darker nude-ish. Or are you too brown? Shit. This is always so hard with like new lipsticks <sighs> well, you can't really like remember which one is which one maybe it's this one here yeah. I think I'll take this dune or sienna I'm just going to swatch them so this is I guess I'm going to take Dune. Maybe not the best match, but it has to do. It has to do. Okay, so what do I think about the new products that I've tried today? I I like this palette. I don't think it's anything wrong with it. But I wouldn't bought it for like the original price. I mainly bought it because it was on sale. But like the shimmer shade that I used, that was this one all in. I really do like. I don't like the format of the palette. I think this is so big and so annoying. Sure, you can like have it standing. I, I don't know. I just don't like it. And this bothers me a little bit that it is like open here when it should be this tight. That it is what it is. I, I don't care that much. It doesn't bother me that much. And with the Melt Bus Kill, I love the component. I think it's really great. One thing that... It feels like this is upside down. <laughs> like... This is the front, but the back is like that. I think this should be like this. Or is it just me? But... I really like it. I don't know the blood, the highlight though, but I think it actually works for me. I think it'll, I'm going to see it in the camera or in like natural lighting because it's hard to see it in the studio lights. If you have studio lights and have filmed with them or taken a picture, I think you know it's a little bit like tricky. But yeah, I think that is all for this video. I am nagging on about this. I'm so sorry, but I'm going to try to find what I want to do on YouTube right now. Because right now, I don't know. I have no idea. Yeah. Yeah, I'm 
I hope you like this and if this was the first video you saw of me you might want to check out another one maybe the one that I did with the flower punk collection from Kaleidos or when I did a theme week with all my shroud palettes I think those are going to be so much more fun than this but yeah I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do, so you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!